Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jivan Tamang, and in this video, we're gonna be reacting to Miss Universe Philippines 2021, and this is the preliminary. Uh, I yeah, there was swimsuit and evening gown, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just get into it. Let's not make this intro very long because I'm not that super good. I'm but I'm recovering from the last time when I was sick. So if you guys have watched my uh interview challenge video then you guys know that i was like uh on that but anyway i'm better than that so let's just get into this so uh, there are 30 contestants and i guess i actually i don't know the competition is so damn tough like it's some universe you know miss universe pageant it just seems world tier okay it doesn't just seems like a you know local local country, just a country pageant. It just seems international at this point because everything about this pageant, the way Philippines conduct its Miss Universe pageant, is just so huge, and especially the contestants work so damn hard. So I have to I have to uh, you know salute all of the contestants out there. And um, and honestly, I feel like all of the 30 ladies that are here deserves it. I know I get, I, I see a lot of slanders about few contestants out there. And I think Kisses, I feel as much as her fan base, it's so big, big. I feel like she is the one who is hated the most. And uh, I don't understand why it is the case. I know she's not that typical Miss Universe kind of, you know, uh, contestant that I've had. You know, she's more on the, like, soft, heartfelt, and, well, you know, like, she speaks with, uh, she speaks softly, you know, like, it'll touch your heart, not, and what we've had seen in the recent years is that, you know, for, for you to be Miss Universe, you have to speak confidently, speak boldly, and all of that, and I do agree, I mean, you know, I I I I just feel like I don't think Miss Universe uh, uh, winner title should not be fit into a box. I'm so sorry. I'm going in a ramble, but all I'm saying is because I've been seeing so many negative comments about kisses, and I'm like, bro, just give it a rest, okay? If you like someone else better, then that's cool. And I just want to say everyone who you know who try try to pull legs of the contestants out there, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, I don't think pageants like this are meant to make people fight for who's better than who. That's just degrading women. That's not lifting women up. And lifting women up is the main purpose of the beauty pageants. And I think a lot of people do not understand. They just think like it's some, you know, competition. But it's, it's I feel like it's so much more than that. So let's just get into this reaction. Let the best one, may the best one win. Obviously, uh, I would say without a doubt that my heart is a little bit on the uh kisses but having said that my favorites obviously are katrina maureen steffi mm, steffi i just feel like uh, uh these are the, these are one of the strongest okay and i feel like you know i would not be surprised if any one of them would take the crown honestly so let's just get into this reaction uh disclaimer there's no, gonna be no video because you know copyright stuff but before that please subscribe and hit the bell icon as well if you guys are any conditioning guys can always let me comment section and do not forget to follow me on my social my facebook instagram TikTok, everything links in the description below now without any delay let's just get into this reaction first at first it's janela joy kuatan from albay let's go Joy oh my god look at the stage bro look at the stage and uh, the place that they're walking in it just looks so grand that's what i'm talking about miss universe philippines just set the standard very high very high evening gal Very nice. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share me your thoughts and opinions from all right, so that was Janela. She was very nice. I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have a very tough time picking. Mijan Hippolito. The walk is kind of 
down the sea, I guess. Do I also have to judge on the basis of gown? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a judge, okay? I'm just saying, like, if the gown is pretty, I'm sold. So that was uh, Mirjan, let's go to Victoria. She's also one of the strong contenders, I do feel that. Victoria Velasquez Vincent. Little stiff on that turn. I really liked her in interview challenge. In here, it's it's good. It's good. Yeah, I mean my my eyes are in a shadow. That's what I can say is now. Uh, it's Jan Luis uh, Ab Abzero Isabella. Her walk can't be fully seen in that dress. Like, I guess the dress kind of covers up her walk. Alright, guys, so that was uh, Jan, Louis. Uh, let's go to Laren. Very strong candidate. I have a lot of hopes from her. That was Laren, and I think uh, it was nice, but I feel like walk is not her strongest aspect, and I feel like she could improve on it. Just my petty thought. Do not take it seriously. Simon Nadine. Oh, damn, that was like. You know what, I'm still waiting to be blown away. Like, you know, blown away. She could work on the stage presence. Because you know, at, at some times I just felt like she was lost while walking. Like she was thinking about stuffs. Okay, this is Kisses. Uh, kisses, I know, Kisses main strong aspect is not uh you know ramp walking because i saw in her runway challenge that it is not her strongest aspect but let's hope she would do nice i have to say a lot of improvement from runway challenge runway challenge but Wait, wait. I love a dress though. Oh god, this is the most beautiful dress as of now. Thank you for okay, uh, as a Kisses fan myself, 
uh you know i did not i know i was like kind of worried about what it is it was gonna turn out like because runway challenge i have to say i have to agree that that was not good okay that was not good i'll be honest okay so in the in here uh uh the in the bikini round it was like you know like some at some point i just felt like you know she was just doing a little bit you know like putting too much it just felt like you know there has to be a balance okay there has to be a balance between poise at, at least for me poise and energy okay and i just at some time i just felt like she was putting too much energy but then she got a little relaxed later wise but i have to say her evening gown walk was perfect her evening gown was perfect and you know damn that walk was fire uh, I wish she would do this, the same kind of walk on her bikini as well. Then she would definitely be one of the front runners. Uh, but yeah, that was great. It's time for Maureen's and I, I have very high hopes for her because she's a model. So she would obviously slay this. I mean, I can obviously tell her in, the, in her walk, the way she walks, she walks. Like she's here to slay it. Yeah, you can see it in her eyes. Walking in gowns is such, a, you know, confusing thing because you have to be so careful, and at the same time you have to keep the smile on. Okay. Hey. Definitely writing Maureen's name like I'm on. I cannot. I cannot. This is uh, Johnny Nicole. I have to say nicely carried. Thank you for watching and please. Okay, next up is uh, Isabel D. Los Santos Makati. Oh, damn, she real did 180 degree turn. I like the confidence. But I just feel like she needs to slow down a little bit because it just feels like she can't just wait to go back. Yeah, I just feel like she needs to have a little bit more poise, confidence, and you know, that attitude is right there, but more poise. <clears throat> this is Maria Carazon Abalos. I like the way she's walking. It was all right. Uh, let's go to Jasmine Umali. She was one of my favorites in the national costume. So let's see. <clears throat> I love the way she started. She has a supermodel look, doesn't she? Oh, she's from Manila. See, it's such a beauty. Jasmine, yes, yeah, she slayed this for me. 
Uh, so where did we go? Where did we reach, by the way? Okay, let's go to Maria. Let me write quickly, write Jasmine name. <clears throat> this is uh, Maria in grid. Oh, the walk, she needs to work on it. Especially the hand movements. I think she's having a hard time with her hand because her hand looks very awkward while she's walking. Like she's going to fight someone. Yeah, sorry. All right, so that was uh, Maria. Let's go to Princess. Oh, she was one of our favorites in run Runway Challenge. I always say Runaway, well, I don't know why. <coughs> Confident. A little nervous, I can see. Damn those heels. Oh my gosh, this, uh, I don't know, this, uh, this outfit is giving me Amanda, oh, Amanda, Miss Universe Thailand 2020 vibes. I don't know, she wore it somewhere, I know, I can, I, I get, I don't know, but I've seen this gown before. It was alright, actually. All right, guys, so that was uh, Princess. Now let's go to Bernice. Okay. I am Bernice San Juan City. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just felt like she rushed a little, like, you know, like, it just felt like, you know, she was in a rush or something. Let's go to Katrina. A lot of, a lot of expectation from her, okay? But I know she'll slay it. Let's go, Katrina! I love her height. Well, she's coming from experience, so there's no way she would let this go. I am feeling like the gown is not doing her walk a justice. Is it just me? Let me know, okay? Because I feel like her bikini walk, swimsuit walk was so great. Uh, however, I could not see much of her walk. Actually, in her that dress, that gown was kind of blocking it. I don't know if it's just me. I would love to know your guys' thoughts, but that definitely was... I mean, although it was like that, I, I just felt like that. I, I cannot deny that it is one of the one of the best, okay? Among uh, as of, as much as I've seen, oh, this is Crystal Abello. Crystal Abello. Kind of got Catriona Gray vibes from there. The way she stood up there. It was okay. It was nice. It was nice. I have to say it was nice. Uh, all right. So let's go to uh, Nolene Rose Mabuhai. She was very nice. Okay, 
Nolene, I guess I might have to write her out. Uh, I have Kisses and Katrina also on hold for here. All right, so I just watched Nolene. Let's watch Beatrice. Oh, she was one of my fab in uh, interview challenge. Oh my, oh my. Beatrice Luigi Gomez. Her walk on swimsuit was very tacky. Even in the interview challenge, the way she was standing was very different. Maybe she has, you know, like, you know, possession, something like that, but walking is definitely not her strong suit. That was Beatrice. Uh, let's go to st oh Stuffy St Stuffy a lot of hopes okay interview challenge I just felt like uh, we uh we didn't get I didn't get as much as I expected her to do but but we've seen her runway challenge and she was the best for me I hope that she'd be the best for me here as well <coughs> now she got a confidence oh yeah here. <laughs> Rose Love that twirl. Thank you for watching. Nice, definitely. Steffi is the one. Definitely, I'm writing down. It just feels like. <laughs> okay, this is Kiss Off Porno. Is it just shaking or am, am I. Is there leg like just, you know, like moving like that? Kiss Off Porno, Ramachandran. I feel like she has some Indian roots because that is definitely Indian surname. Okay, that was a little stiff, I have to say. Her walk was stiff. A little stiff. Alright, guys, so that was uh, uh, Kiss of Pornum. Pornum. Now let's go to Grace. It was an alright one. Great, that was Grace. Let's move forward to Megan Julia. Oh, damn. All right, that was Megan. Julia and she was nice too. Uh, let's go to Vincy. I'm another. I'm you know waiting for someone to blow me again. Vincy Labadan Bacalares. Oh, I love how she's walking, especially in the evening gown. Better than the swimming. Very good. That was very nice. Although she could work a little bit on her facial expression, 
Uh, I, you know, it's that, like she was confused about what facial expression should she smile, should she not smile. She was like confused between that, something like that. Jadida, she was one of my favorite in interviews. Let's hope she slays this as well. Oh, girl. Yeah. You definitely shake, sh you know, did that hair thing, but I guess when it comes to walk, it was a little stiff. <sighs> no, honestly, this dress, this gown didn't do justice at all. It just feels like a lazy, lazy work, okay? That gown, whoever made that gown, you just, you just gave her a plain ass crown. All right, this is Shella Grace Falconer, Miss Miss Oriental. Okay. Shella Grace Falconer. Walk. Oh, I loved her swimsuit walk. However, I'm not sure of that evening gown walk. But she'll definitely, I'll, it'll, she'll be one of my top picks. So, Shella, uh, let's go to our second last contestant, Michelle. Michelle Angela Navarro Ocoy. It feels like she's dancing. This is a copy paste of Katriona Gray's gown. Oh God, don't do that. I mean, I, I don't know, people might think that it would make you look like a strong contender, but for me, if you're copying something from the past winners, it just, feel, it just feels like you're trying to be someone else and you're not being yourself. So that is a big no-no for me. Oh, that gown was... You know, I didn't like that gown. I felt like that gown was lazy, but this was the worst gown, at least for me. No, I didn't like that. Okay, the last contestant is Crisaline Valencia Devao Occidental. God, her walk is stiff. Is she shaking? Oh god, her walk is stiff. I don't know, is it because of the dress or something? But her walk is, especially her hands. Alright guys, so that was it. The top 30 preliminary round. And I must say, when it comes to walks, I think a lot of them could do a lot better, okay? But, you know, having my first thing first, I guess my top picks would be Maureen, Jasmine, Nolan, I guess that was, Steffi, and Shella, and Katrina, and Kisses. But if I have to choose one who literally, like, blew me away, it, it, have to, it has to be Jasmine. Yeah, she blew me away in Dazzle costume as well. And for me, in this uh, preliminary, I think Jasmine was the best. However, if I have to talk about the gown, I think Kiss's gown was the most beautiful, at least for me. But that's just my personal opinion. These girls did amazing, and I feel like one of these, like, you know, most of these girls would definitely place in top 10. That's my feeling. But that was it for this video. If you like this video, then please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll meet you guys in the next video. Bye.